the power wars at the University of Nairobi are not going away anytime soon, it seems. That's right. Only a day after he got reprieve from the courts, Professor Stephen Kiama has sent Professor Isaac Mbeche, who was appointed by the Education CS in acting capacity, on leave. Kiama insists there is no power vacuum or leadership crisis at the institution and says he holds nothing against CS Magoha. Vincent Odor has more. An extra spring visible in his step, yeah, Professor Stephen Kiyama Gitai walks freely within the University Why of Nairobi premises a day after an employment and labor relations court ruling reinstated him as vice chancellor. He is fully in charge of the institution, he says. And I started serving as vice chancellor on 6th of January 2020. And I've been serving since then. Uh, and there, has been any, there hasn't been any issue uh, until now uh, over this weekend. Professor Kiyama's first order of business following the reprieve was sending his nemesis, Professor Isaac Mbeche, on leave. Through this notice to staff and students, Kiyama claims that Mbeche, who was named a VC in acting capacity on Saturday, had requested to proceed on annual leave with effect from January 6th. Everything is running on smoothly. There were also uh, some professors who are meeting to discuss and, the, and just express themselves and find out what is the situation. I, I met them. I had a discussion with them. And we agreed that the, the University of Nairobi has a very, very strong culture. You have seen the many transition we have gone through. It is resilient. It is not a fragile institution. People may not know uh, where do you go. Because we, we, who is actually in charge? You know, that kind of thing. Sometimes you can cause that confusion. And therefore, the, the code order that we received yesterday, that settles that kind of people now not knowing where do you go when you have an issue. Kiyama is now challenging the authority of education CS George Magoa in dissolving the council and revoking his appointment. Actually, I don't lead any malice uh, in that uh, revocation. I just see it is just uh, uh, a feeling from some quarters, obviously, where they, are, they, they may believe that perhaps they have certain authority to do certain things. In a letter to Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, Magoa says the ministry suspects ethical and integrity breaches in the recruitment process of the university's vice-chancellor. Vincent Odur, NTV.